We're gonna do six exercises today for arms. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom, look at those puppies, bad boys. No, I'm just kidding. And most of it's gonna be done with pulleys. All right, first off, notice I don't have much weight on here. These are 15 pound plates, so I'm not super wide, not super narrow. I'm just gonna drop down. And you can, when you come down to this position, you'll feel it. Then when you pop up, try to really extend to the top. I mean, don't overextend it, like don't pop your joint or something, but come down, back up. And after, I don't know, a good amount of these, you'll start to feel it. So you can actually see I'm starting to kind of feel it a little bit. And for fun fact, I actually work out before I shoot these videos. And then I come back and explain everything. So I am a little bit tired. Normally, I'd probably do like a 25 pound plate on each side, go up to a 45 and a 25 sometimes. But for the most part, I like to keep it light. You don't need to go super heavy with that. These bad boys are incline curls. You see I'm kind of bending down funny. It's because of this mic. Grab this, then go around here. Grab this one, sort of an elaborate setup. Pop back, and then at this point, my arms are super stretched. I can feel the stretch in my bicep. And then it's gonna curl, kind of hold the tension. And right here, you can feel a ton of tension. Drop back, just tension, tension, tension. More tension, more tension. And right there, it's fairly easy. But same as I always do, I do, I'd aim for 10 of these, five sets preferably. And you don't have to do five, I prefer to do five. I'm not going very heavy. I don't know what the weight stack is on right now, but it's pretty light. Moving on. These are overhead tricep extensions, or French curls, some people call them. It's the same premise, you're gonna feel some pressure like right there at the bottom and then pop up. And when you're at the top, you wanna ideally flex, kind of squeeze it. There's not much to it. That's basically it, but you pop a, a bunch of those bad boys out and you'll start feeling the burn, that's for sure. And since we already have the pulley down at the bottom, might as well curl. Same thing. You can do two types of curls here. So you can keep your wrist straight or you can drop your wrist See how my wrists are like drop down? And that's gonna be just like pure bicep. No forearm movement at all. I'm using two separate handles, but I'm doing traditional tricep push downs or press downs. Most of the time people just do it with one handle, but it's basically the same thing. Just using separate arms. Something that you'll feel not as much at this point, but like at that part of the motion when you're contracted and then through like this area. These right here are a modified variation of a curl. So you could start with your elbows out wide, curl in that way, or you could bring your elbows in a bit more, curl, kind of whatever is more comfortable for you. I normally keep my elbows out a bit. You feel some pressure right here, but it's all, all the pressure's right there. Whereas the incline curl, that was more when you're stretched out. But this one, you'll feel it like when you contract. And uh, I don't know, I didn't really do these for most of my lifting years, but now that I have this rep rack, I love these things. Hope you enjoyed the workout. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And if you like this, like I say, subscribe. And if not, at least I tried.